Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's video is going to be about population genetics and about uh, quantitative genetics in particular. Here is a problem in an experimental population of a tribolium flower beetles. The body length shows a continuous distribution with a mean of 6 mm. A group of males and females with body lengths of 9 mm are removed and uh, inbred, uh, interbred. The body length of the offspring average 7.2 mm. From this data, calculate the heritability of the narrow sense for body length in this population. And let me represent this information uh, as a graph. So here is two axes. Uh, one would be uh, frequency of occurrence of uh, different body sizes and another uh, size. And usually normal distribution can be represented with such uh, bell shaped curve. And as you see, uh, most of the uh, representative, it can be, uh, say, beetles, it can be humans, it can be actually any animal or plant, but we would find that uh, very few would be of the very small size and you probably remember from your school days that you would have in your class for example very few people who are, is going to be very small and you also would have very few people who is going to be very tall and uh, here is uh, distribution that shows us frequency of the occurrence of certain phenotype and here as in our case would be the size so very small and very tall would uh, occur in population but in small numbers and most would be uh, somewhere here uh, of the middle size so we call this uh, uh, mean of the population or mean of the base population and according to our problem uh, uh, mean population is 6 millimeters. Uh, this is body size and we selected somewhere say here uh, some individuals with a mean and um, this is going to be mean of selected selected parents so uh, which is nine millimeters so nine millimeters so some individuals here let's say one two three would be a little bit smaller than nine millimeters other individuals would be a little bit bigger but mean would be uh, 9 millimeters. So uh, what we can expect uh, in the next generation. So let's say next, next generation uh, we expect uh, to according to our problem uh, the mean would be 7.2 millimeters. So this is going to be uh, mean of the F1 generation, so F1 generation, and this is going to be a mean which we put a prime here. So, uh, and it is uh, 7.2 millimeters. And also, uh, this is going to be uh, a mean, that means that in F1 generation, we also would see distribution of sizes with uh, new mean. So uh, basically we would have the same uh, bell shaped curve but as you see mean have shifted from 6 to 7.2 millimeters. On my picture this green curve is more pointed but actually it have to be the same shape as this uh, blue line here 
just shift it a little bit to the right because mean of the body size uh, would be greater than mean of the base population. So now let's solve the problem. We have all the data, we draw a picture, so now it would be easier for you to understand solution of this problem. So first of all, let's find the selection differential. Uh, it is uh, the difference of the base population mean and the mean of the selected parents. So we use S for selection differential, which would equal to uh, mean of the selected parents minus mean of the base population. In our uh, problem, this is 9 minus 6, which is 3. Now let's find a response to uh, selection. Uh, the selection response is how much gain you make when you are mating the selected parents. And we use capital R. So uh, it's uh, equal to uh, mean of the F1 generation minus mean of the base population. And mean of the F1 generation uh, is 7.2 millimeters and mean of the base population is 6. So the difference is 2 point, oh, sorry, 1.2. And now uh, we also have to find uh, we have to calculate heritability in the narrow sense and we use h small squared and formula would be r divided by s and actually that means that we have to divide 1.2 by 3 and the answer would be 0 0.4 uh, this can be an answer on the scale between 0 and 1, or we also can say that this is 40%, if you need an answer in percentage form. So, in our case, we can say that, uh, for example, for the selection purpose, uh, uh, this is a good response, and we can select... Uh, this beetles for example for the size because it has a good genetic variation and this genetic variation is not due to um, environment as you see uh, in many uh, life examples uh, for example with plants if you put plants in low elevation plants can be of the great size if you put them in the high elevation they can be very small, but all this difference can be only due to environmental factors such as temperature and elevation and uh, how much water these plants get. But uh, for uh, plant breeder, it is very important to find uh, H2. If uh, this number would be great, then uh, plant breeder or animal breeder can work with uh, such population uh, and breed for certain purposes, uh, for example, for the size of the animal or uh, plant or, as in our example, uh, the size of the beetle. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. Share this video with your classmates and see you in the next video. Goodbye.